Welcome back. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue and I have another What Sold video for you today. Ten items. I call it What Sold, Bolos and Beyond because I take you behind the scenes and show you some eBay bolos. You know what things have sold for. Bolo being be on the lookout. What do I have in this video? I have pottery, I have plates. To tell you the truth, I have lots of different things. But I'm going to name this video Pottery, Plates, and Volume Pricing. Do you know what that is? Volume Pricing? Volume Pricing on eBay is when you have more than one item and you offer a discount to your buyer for buying more than one. And I'm going to show you behind the scenes on how I did that. And if you're new here, I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue and my husband Mark and I are resellers on eBay, Macari and Poshmark. But my videos mainly focus on eBay. So let's get started. I found this beautiful piece of pottery at one of my favorite sales, Netherland Inn. And I bought this piece at last year's sale. I paid about $2 for it. And it sold for $42.95 plus shipping. I'm going to show you some eBay sold comps for other salt clay stoneware jugs. I couldn't find another comp exactly like what I sold, but I'll show you others. Let's take a look at sold comps for salt glaze stoneware jugs. Sorted highest to lowest, completed sales sold listings. Look at this first one, $1,302 with 24 bids. These are pretty good sized jugs. And the second one here featuring a bird, $1,136. Julius Norton, 1,105. A strutting rooster, 1,028. Boy, do I wish my jug was a little bit larger. But 925 for this Eagle Pottery. A Western Design, 660. Another bird with Binghamton, New York, 555. Jackson and Porter, 520. A blue decorated salt jug here, 499. Primitive number three, Bee Sting Stoneware, less than 475 and a blue butterfly jug for $4.60. And keep your eyes open for these cobalt blue stoneware jugs because as you can see, some of them have a lot of value. This next item is a single plate, but we can explore some things by Homer Laughlin. I didn't find a lot of sold comps for this coronet dinner plate. I found a different pattern for two bread and butter plates sold for 20. We paid about a dollar for ours at a garage sale and it sold for $15 plus shipping. And then a serving bowl, a vegetable bowl sold for $27.89. And here are six of the same dinner plates sold for $7.44. I wouldn't even bother, I have to tell you, with selling it for that low. Let's go on up and take out the coronet and just put in plate. Well, it looks like this bluebird pattern is going for quite a bit. This is a covered butter dish, 189. Has a plate underneath, that's why that came up. Let's jump over to the right. This oval platter sold for less than 109. That's pretty cool. Fiesta Ware always sells. Three oval plates sold for less than 99. Here's a Fiesta Ware Christmas pattern. Bread plate, oval platter, and a round plate, 12 inch. Sold for 118, but free ship on that. I bet shipping was about $20. I look over to the right at this Fiesta Wear Halloween plate sold for $83 with five bids. So Halloween stuff always sells well. If, so if you can find some unique patterns, some unusual shapes, it's worth checking sold comps for Howard Laughlin. Next is an estate sale find. And it was on the last day. It was half price and it was filled with flowers, which I, what did I do? What am I known to do? Take the flowers out and leave the flowers behind, right? That's what I did. Paid a couple of dollars for this. It was not in very good condition, but I thought it had potential. Besides, we get to talk about trophy planters. Yes, a trophy planter. What is that? Trophy planter. <laughs> $3.99 
For this one, I just typed in footed trophy planter, a little bit generic on this search. And we have a large metal one that sold for 49 and a silver plated sold for, well, $16. That's not too good. I do have this sorted by highest to lowest. And a trophy cup planter sold for less than 35 This is ours and it was in really bad shape, so I accepted an offer of 15 But these are all footed planters, not necessarily trophy planters, just footed. Let's take out the word footed and just leave trophy planter. Here we go. Wow, look at this one here. A wine cooler. I guess it could be also used as a planter, sold for $2.14. Hollywood Regency, Mid-Century Modern, Champagne Bucket, $95. So we're getting some unusual things in this search. Here's that trophy planter again for $49. And this is a fancy one on the left, sold for $42, and a couple of copper ones for less than $29. And on the far right, a Roseville Pottery, sold for $32. So trophy planters are keywords, and they are selling. Prices are all over the place. But I believe in checking sold comps on just about everything because you never know what you'll learn. I'm really curious to find out if you've ever picked up a car manual to sell on eBay. Have you ever sold anything like that? We were at a church rummage sale and I found it on a table, paid a couple of dollars for it, and some of these sell for pretty good money. I might have been able to get more for mine if I had been more patient. I'm sure there are car manuals out here in sold comps for every make and model. I just put in Jeep car owner's manual. And you can see here, they can sell for around $48, 51, 46, 46, 42, 42, 40, 40. Have you ever found these? Have you ever tried to sell them? If you can get a complete or probably even partial car manual, I bet you can pick it up pretty cheap and sell it and make some decent money. And it's not fragile, it's not breakable, so it's easy to ship. If you follow our channel, you know that I have sold several of this next item. This is a Butter Boat, not Butter Boat brand. It's actually, I think, Silver Mark. But I like it because it's red, white, and blue. It's $3. I'd have to open it and make sure there's nothing chipped inside because it's three pieces. My final title for this was Butter Boat by Trudeau. And it sold for full asking price of $29.95 plus shipping. You've heard me talk about Butter Boats before. And even though Butter Boat is a brand name, when I put it in sold comps, it brings up a variety of butter dishes. So if you really want to check out the variety of Butter Boat dishes, what can we do here? Let me show you how. Go to Google and type in Butter Boat Butter Dish. And this is where you can find a lot of the patterns. So butter boats, butter dishes, if you get them for a good price, they can sell anywhere from $20 to $29. This next item is made from wood, bamboo, and I paid only 50 cents for a bunch of these, and I don't think I'm ever going to buy them again. Keep watching. I'll show you why. But I learned something new. I always learn something new. These are very unusual. Right away, they look like inkwell pens and they're made from bamboo. 50 cents for the bag. And I've done well on some odd wood items lately, so I'm gonna pick this up. I paid only 50 cents for the bag and it was something new for me. So I didn't do too bad by accepting an offer of $19 plus shipping. I didn't know that bamboo reed dip pens were a thing, but they are. Here's our listing. We started it at $24.95 and accepted an offer of $19. They're not going for a lot of money, but I picked the bag up for about 50 cents. So that's why I decided to give it a try because I just like trying things that I've never seen before, never sold before. So check your sold comps for things like this and just know that bamboo reed pens aren't going for a lot, but I did learn something new and I was able to share it with you. I paid only $5 for all of what I'm about to show you. And I sold four pieces, one lot of four, for $15. That may not seem like a whole lot, but one of the lots that I sold in a previous video, 
a four piece lot. I sold for $40. So $40, $15. I still have more to sell. See where I'm going with this? Cost me $5 for all of them. This four piece set of vintage sanitary stainless steel baby fork and spoon made in Korea sold on offer for $15 plus shipping. Sanitary Korea baby fork and spoons. I found 10 listings, 10 active listings on eBay. But as we know, that may not be a correct number. You can see here 15 to $19 on average. Let's go check solds. I found two. This is our listing that sold for $15 and I have about 50 cents into it. And here's another listing that had three spoons and two forks that sold for $14.99. So that's not too bad. Let's go down below. Results matching with fewer keywords. Here's a sold comp of four pieces for 25. For baby spoons, if you can get them at a really good price and you don't mind a smaller sale, you know, 10 to $20, then you may want to pick them up. But keep in mind that some of these, like I sold before with Care Bears, I think it sold for $40. So some of them can sell for a lot. The next item is something that I love to find and resell. And I've been selling these for many, many years, as I'll show you. And I only paid $4.99 for the bag. And this will lead us down the path of other pretty things like this. What am I talking about? Victorian fill in the blank. I didn't inspect them in the store. Probably should have because they're not perfect. A few of them are missing some pearls. However, these are Kurt Adler. And these have the original sticker on them of $9.99 each. I paid $4.99 for all of them at the Goodwill and accepted an offer of $25 plus shipping. I'm checking sold comps for Kurt Adler Victorian ornaments, sorted highest to lowest. There's a harp ornament that they took an offer off of $99. Here's a lot of ornaments that sold for $66 and five box ornaments sold for $64. And here's a little fairy ornament they took an offer from $64 and some more little fairy ornaments so fairy ornaments are selling for less than $64 and if you have a lot you know they are selling but always check them separately too when you're searching sold comps. Here's some little purses to the right sold for $35. Here's our six count lot right here that we sold for $25. Would like to have had more. As you see here it says new other. They were missing some of the pearls. Keep your eyes open for Kurt Adler ornaments in general and Victorian style ornaments. You may not even know that we sell these things. These things being craft patterns, needle craft patterns, because we have a second eBay store, Avante Attic, and I sell most of my patterns in the Attic store, Avante Attic, A-T-T-I-C. But recently I put some in our Avenue store, and I'm glad I did. And I'm really glad I took the time to check sold comps on all of the patterns that I was going through that day. You'll see why. It was pretty exciting to find that I had a quilting pattern in my stash of patterns for years, mind you, and it was worth $49.95 plus shipping. That's a woohoo! Let's look for bolos for quilt pattern books. Again, completed sold listings sorted from highest. And you can see here a lot of people sell their quilt patterns in lots. So I can't say that any specific brand sells more than others. It's really a matter of checking sold comps, which really isn't hard to do because most pattern booklets have either an ISBN number, a pattern number, you've got the name to work with, you've got the author to work with. It's actually quite easy to search for sold comps for patterns. I always recommend going through your patterns individually and searching them and not just throwing them all in a lot. Recently, I went through hundreds and hundreds of my craft patterns and I picked out the ones that had the most value and I donated the ones that weren't worth my time. Here's our sale here. This button design country quilt garden quilt book sold for $49.95 plus shipping. What if I hadn't taken the time to search every single pattern? I could have easily donated this with others. Instead, I got $49.95 out of it. Do you sell quilt patterns? or craft patterns. Can you believe we're at number 10 already? I have more plates for you. Well, it's number 10, but it's a lot of three plates. And this is the item that sold that I'm going to take you behind the scenes. So after I show you some eBay sold comps, you know, bolos, be on the lookout. I'll show you how I set up the volume pricing on this. 
I use this eBay feature in our listings all the time. Whenever I have quantities of something and I want to encourage the buyer to buy more than one, more than one item, more than one lot, I use volume pricing. So keep watching here and I'll show you. I'm pretty certain we found these plates at a garage sale. We bought a whole bunch of plates. They had used them in a wedding and we picked them up for a dollar each or less. I typed in Occupy Japan, Gold Castle, completed listings, sold listings, sorted by highest to lowest. And we have six 10 inch dinner plates sold for $69.95 plus shipping and a sandwich plate and a cream soup bowl and saucer sold for $45. Boy, I'd like to find that. And to the right, six and a half inch bread plates, nine of these for $49.95. And here's four more plates. They don't say if they're dinner or salad plates sold for 40 free ship and a set of two dinner plates for 21 and to the right, one single dinner plate for $19.95. However, that's our listing. Let's go take a look at our listing. And we sold three of them. But before I reveal what they sold for, I'm going to take you behind the scenes and show you what I'm talking about with volume pricing. In this listing for the Occupy Japan Gold Castle Hostess Pattern Dinner Plate, I had it set up with a listing with volume pricing. You could save up to 25% more depending on how many plates you bought. The first one was $19.95. If you bought two, it dropped 15% off to $16.96. If you bought three, 20% off, $15.96, and four, $14.96, or 25% off. She only bought three, and these plates were not in the greatest condition. As you see in the condition here, vintage used, heavy scratches, gilding has heavy wear, sold as is. So I decided, since I had collected enough in shipping, that I would go ahead and send all four plates with a little note to her. I said, Cynthia, Thank you for your purchase of these three plates. I've included four. Enjoy, you know, thanks, you know, Vicki Avante Avenue. So she got four plates and I'm happy to get them out the door. I have had them listed for quite some time. I'm behind the scenes on this eBay listing for these Occupied Japan plates and I'm going to scroll down. I'm just going to skip over everything because there's no point in going over it. Don't get dizzy on me here. Let's go down to almost at the bottom, you know, where you would see fees if you have any, volume pricing. That's what I checked here. And that's where you can go and set up how much discount you want to give for two or more or three or more. You have all kinds of options here. I chose to do 15, 20, and 25. And that's all I did to set up a listing with volume pricing or discounted pricing for buying more. So if you have quantities, I suggest you take advantage of this. I use this whenever I can. So there you go, behind the scenes. Give it a try. So not a lot of sold comps, but even with that said, I sold three of them for $59.85 plus shipping. Three plates for $59.85 plus shipping, not too bad. And of course I did send the extra plate, the fourth plate. You know, like I said, they weren't in perfect condition and I didn't really want to mess with it. And I didn't have to worry about the shipping because we had collected plenty. I had fun putting this video together for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue and Mark and I will see you soon.